Hello one and all, and here we are at last, near the end of what feels like a very long year. It's certainly the longest eight years of my life. <laughs> um, what can really be said? You know, it's it's been interesting. Um, and I wanted to take the opportunity just before the end of the year to really say thank you to everybody who's been involved with the channel this year. Um, and I don't just mean folks who have contributed or what have you. What I mean is every comment, every like, every view on the video, uh, it actually really helps me out. And I don't think I would still be doing this if it weren't for, you know, the the feedback that I get from people saying that it helped them get started painting or they've tackled something new that they might not have done before. It really makes a big difference to me. So I, I worry sometimes. This is a, a weird little side note, but I'll tell you about me. Uh, I have this odd problem where I always worry that I don't sound like I'm being genuine when I say thank you, so I overthink it. And if you can hear that happening now, it's because I really want to make it clear that everything that you all have done to, you know, let me know that you like what I'm doing, uh, thank you. So there is that. Um, now we're coming up on 2021, and it is true that, you know, the clock ticking over from 2020 to 21 doesn't mean that all of the issues and the problems and stuff that are out there right now that we face are magically going to go away. That's not what I don't think, that's not what I'm celebrating. When it comes to 2021, it means we got through this, and I think marking almost a full year of weird uncertainty. Um, that is something to be celebrated. So if you're still here, you know, congratulations. You know, we've made it this far. And with any luck, we'll be able to carry on through 2021 as well. So in my family, it's Merry Christmas. But whatever you're celebrating, I wish you the very best of the end of the year. So these holiday seasons, it's complex for a lot of us. Um, I know that, you know, restrictions are going to make it difficult for some of us to celebrate with who would like to be with. And uh, that stinks. But as it is, you know, you're looking out for people that you want to be able to see next year. So Merry Christmas from me to all of you. Now, rather than end on a note like that, there are actually a few things that I've wanted to show you guys for a while. Um, which either haven't really fit into a video or I haven't been quite sure how to address or how to, how to paint. <laughs> Some of these things, you know, I get them and it's like, hmm, how would I do that? And then I spend so long thinking about it, it doesn't happen. But just towards the end of the year, there are a couple of cool things that I want to make sure I give a shout out to. Uh, so I'm going to flip the camera around and show you a few neat things. So the first of these things I want to show you is Instar paints. Now I've mentioned them a few times, in particular their black and the uh, varnish plus that they do are fantastic. I use them on all sorts of things, but I've never done a specific painting video with these because I don't really have a huge amount of colors yet, which the very kind team have <laughs> tried to sort me out with a handful of extras so that I can do some mixing. Because uh, they've got a really cool thing they're working on where you it gives you uh, ratios where you can mix any colors you like, and I'm really looking forward to giving that a shot. Expect to see some more of these in the new year. Um, I do want to do an Instar specific painting video, but you'll notice that my colors, I tend towards a certain era, let's say. <laughs> so uh, when I figure out quite what I want to do with them, I'd really like to show these off. Uh, they are brilliant paints all the same. Uh, they do come out of the UK, so if you're there looking for something to you know, supplement your range or try something new, these get a full-throated recommendation from me. In particular, this Varnish Plus. Oh my goodness, this is the stuff. All right? If you ever need <laughs> if you ever need a matte varnish, which brushes on, no mixing, no fussing about, and it comes out super matte, um, this is great. The rest of them are all fantastic too. Now, as I've gotten more and more into my historical wargaming, smaller scales have started to become more appealing. And you'll see these little itty bitties <laughs> hiding down here. Now, for comparison's sake, 
here's these six millimeter figures against a 28 millimeter figure. So that really big commissar, he's gonna find it easy to keep the troops in line. Now these guys come from 2D6 Wargaming and I'll see if I can get a slightly closer look here. And it is quite difficult to show on camera, but these are easily like the most detailed and just crispest, crispest, most crisp, goodness me, of six millimeter vehicles and figures that I've seen. Uh, let's try and get a close look at the Russian infantry here. I mean, they're just brilliant. You know, they're really neat. Um, I would probably put a couple more of them on a base in the future, but I'm going to use these for Hammer of Democracy. Uh, which is a rule system which I will link in the description too because Nordic Weasel stuff is fantastic. Uh, but Tim over at 2D6 very kindly sent me along a handful of uh, samples and I really enjoyed painting them up. I think this is going to change how I do sort of big battles from now on. Brilliant figures and if you're looking at something unusual or you want to expand your wargaming repertoire as I have over this year, maybe go check them out. And then finally, I've got here one of the 3D printed ships from the Terra Conflict. Now that's a Kickstarter which is just finished off and there are some late pledges available. So if you do want to pick up the STL files for these, uh, they are available. And I've got to admit, I'm really big into my Battlefleet Gothic. So, you know, the whole huge cathedral starship thing really does it for me. But sometimes you want something that's just a little unusual. And I love the, the design in these. Uh, there's five factions, I think, five or six factions. You know, do go check out the link. Don't just trust me. Uh, this is one of the civilian ships and it's classed as a, a freighter. I think this one is or a cruise ship. But just look at that. Isn't that cool? Uh, these were really easy to print. Um, you do get pre-supported versions. I have found that with the water soluble resin that I've been using, you do need to add a couple of extra supports, but the hard work is done for you. With games like A Billion Suns on the Horizon from uh, Mike Hutchinson, you know, the man behind Gaslands, uh, there is Warfleet's FTL over on One Page Game, uh, One Page Rules, and whatever else you might want to use them for. These are really cool, just, ah, oh, brill. Good reason to have a 3D printer. So there you have it, a handful of things I just wanted to make sure that you got to see before the end of the year. Now next year, I want to try a few little different things with the channel, um, maybe more detailed videos, uh, slightly longer or split into two. Um, some of you are still asking about pretty large kits and, you know, I got to admit I'm not sponsored by Games Workshop or anything, so these Abaddon and what have you might have to wait, but for those that I do get the opportunity to try and tackle, I, I think it's time we start doing something a little more in depth, let's say. Um, some of you have continued to mention an interest in me streaming, and I've, I'd i really like to. Like, I think that would be something which would be cool to be able to engage directly and chat with you guys while I'm painting, you know, have, have folks around for a painting session sort of thing. Um, but with my current setup, I still haven't figured out a way to really make that work, where I'd be able to have the camera on what I'm painting uh, and be able to see, you know, chat and, and talk with folks at the same time. So I will solve that problem in 2021, I promise. Um, otherwise, if there's anything that you would really like to see, not so much specific miniatures, but I don't know, techniques or such like that, um, let me know. Drop them in the comment box. Um, you know, this whole channel has continued mostly out of people asking questions. So <laughs> if you've got them, keep on asking. Uh, so once more, I say these names at the end of most of these videos, but I really want to thank all of the patrons who have kept me ticking over in Paint and Glow. Uh, without that little financial kick each month, uh, that help, I would probably not still be doing this because... Uh, Miniatures and paint cost money. So to the folks especially, producers, Alan Nuttall, Ben Hicks, Kyrie Crawford, Trainboy and Connor, thank you all very much. As well as everybody who's contributing even a dollar a month, uh, it, it keeps me going. So, you know, thank you. And to everybody, I think that makes a nice circle, doesn't it? Uh, so we'll call it here. 
I just wanted to have the opportunity to say Merry Christmas and goodbye for the year. And I uh, hope you'll get something cool. You know, jolly old Saint Nick drops off the reinforcements that you're looking forward to. And uh, I will see you all next year.